Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to show you how you can make my pencil charm using only a crochet hook. For those of you who have looms and like working that way, I'll put links in the description below for how to make this charm on a loom. But for those of you who don't have a loom, or do but want a new challenge, this is how you do it. This is the crochet hook that I'm going to use, the Susan Bates Aluminum 3.75, just like it says there. You'll need five colors of rubber bands, four in the color you want the very tip of the pencil to be, 12 in the color that comes right behind the point that looks like wood, I'm going to use one of Rainbow Loom brand's mixed skin tones to match the tan, but I've also made pencils with white when the tan wasn't available. 21 for the main color of the pencil, I'm using Rainbow Loom Neon Orange, but you may want to use pink or purple or blue or any color in the rainbow. You have lots of flexibility there. For this portion, between the main body and the eraser, I'm using a dark green, but black or silver are also great choices. And then the eraser I like to have as a classic pink. But again, anything goes, be creative. So if you're ready to start, we begin with the point of the pencil. So I'm taking a black rubber band and I'm wrapping it around my hook three times. Then take two in that matching color of the lead of your pencil, pull it tight, and push that tripled over band to the center. Like that. And fold it over onto itself. And that is your pencil point. We're now going to switch to the color of the wood. Two rubber bands at a time. Pull it through. But before returning it to your hook, we need to place a single band that is doubled over in the center. And that's how we're going to connect the sides of the pencil. So we have another two in that wood color to go on now. And again, adding a single band that you twist and fold over so that it's doubled before returning the other side to the hook. Like that. Now we're going to switch to the color that you want the main body of the pencil to be. Two at a time. Pull it through all those bands and again add a band in the middle to hold this all together. Repeat, two bands, pull them through, it's a little tricky sometimes with that one in the middle, and then add another doubled over band. One more, exactly the same way of that main color. And then we'll have a little variety. We'll switch colors, but do the same thing. So you've got it on, then you add your band in the other side. And now switching to the color that goes between the main color and the eraser. For me, that's a dark green. It goes through. And we again add one of those triple, not tripled, doubled bands. Like that. And now we're ready to add eraser. But we don't need to add another band in the middle here. We're just going to add one more pair of pink bands, put both sides on my hook like that, and we're going to create a temporary slip knot pulling these two bands into the center of those two so that these don't fall apart on us. 
but don't pull it too tight because we're going to need to take that apart later. And that is the start of your pencil. It looks pretty wimpy now, so we want to add another row on the side. And we're going to be working with these bands we put in the middle. So you want to tug those all to one side so that you can see them well. Look kind of like a caterpillar. And we're going to put our hook back into these two black bands to start. Take two more in the color of the wood, pull them through, and now put your hook through those two extra bands in the middle. And then return the other two bands onto your hook. And now two more of that wood color. Bring it through all those bands and then catch those two here and return the other half. So it looks like that. And we keep on going up the line. Now we're switching to the main body color, pulling those two bands through and then putting the doubled over band on your hook and returning the other half. So it looks like that. Two more. Through. Catch those bands in the center. You can do it. It's tricky, but it's so cute. Here you go. You can look at it here, you know you got it right. Two more. Switching again. and then switching to the eraser color. We're going to create another temporary slip knot, pulling these two bands into the center of those two, like that, so that we can secure this. Now you see this is a pretty cute pencil already. If you wanted it to just be too wide, you could finish this off with a single band, uh, but I'm going to go for a wider pencil, which I think is even cuter. And to do that, instead of starting this time in the black, we're going to move up one to start here and take two of the color of the wood, pull them through. And then you're going to have to push in a little to catch those two bands that are in the center and back on the hook. And then switching to the main pencil color, pull those two through, catch the two horizontal bands that are in the center and put the other side back on. You'll see our pencils coming together really well. Two more in that main body color for the next position. Now those of you, if you're struggling and you're having a really hard time with this, I would try it again but next time Make these bands a different color so that you can pick them out easier in the side. I've done this a whole bunch of times though, so I already know how to do that. Um, but if you're having trouble, that's one way to make it easier 
It will look a little funny at the end. You might end up taking it apart, but it will help you learn how to catch those two bands that you need if you're struggling. Some of you who have done a bunch of these already of my other charms without the loom, bet you're doing A-OK. -okay. So now we're going to switch color. And catch those two bands. And that's the last time you have to do that for this charm. Because the pink ones don't have that band. And now we add two more. And pull those two more through and create another temporary slip knot. At which point you may notice, like I'm noticing right now, that you've made a small mistake. One of the rows is supposed to have just one set of pink bands and two are supposed to have two. But it's the one in the middle that's supposed to have only one. And I obviously did that wrong. So I'm just going to take those out and make the center one the way it's supposed to be. It's good for me to show mistakes, right? Because then you can learn how to fix them too. And then go back to this side and add the extra ones where they should be and create a temporary slip knot so that we can all compare and make sure we're all at the same point. So this is what it should look like for the moment with two pairs of pink bands on the outsides and a single pair on the inside. And now we are very carefully going to open up those temporary slip knots. And you wanna keep this pinched so they don't pop out on you. And now the goal is going to be to get this one side, the two from the center. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. So for one of the trickiest parts of this process that you'll need the most patience for, you need to weave your hook through all six of these bands. And you'll start on one side and then come through the other. So I've gotten all six from one side. Now I'm catching the opposite side onto my hook. And if it pops out a little bit, just stay calm and go slow. You can push those back in. And now just pull those last two right on over the hook with the others until all six of those are on your hook. And then you take a single band in the color you want your loop to be, and you pull it through. Put both sides onto your hook, and pull this side through that side. If you had trouble, I hope you'll try again. I know it's tricky, but it's so much fun when it all comes together in the end. I hope you had fun making the pencil with me today and that if you had trouble, you'll give it another try. It's tricky at first, but you'll get there. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you'd like to see me make next and whether it should be on the loom or using just a crochet hook. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to looming with you again soon. Bye-bye.